right? Time to play Huntress. Uh, so Huntress is a character that I dislike just because she feels really weak. Not a fan of her play style. I don't know why I'm testing that. She does have a few powerful moves, but I just don't like playing her. Essentially, her play style is just use everything as soon as it comes off cooldown. Uh, but yeah, I'm not a fan of that play style. I just I like characters that uh, feel really powerful. Bandit, like I showed last run, he was feeling powerful. Even Enforcer felt powerful. Mostly just the sound of the shotgun and the grenade launcher. Hunch is just a. Uh, she can definitely take care of a magmorm. She and I'm dead. She can take care of a lot of enemies, uh, but I just don't like playing her. And a first death like that isn't a good sign. Also, her blink doesn't give her any invulnerability, so it's not like that would have helped me against the crab. Or it could have, but just not. Not much. I do wonder how what her face looks like because you can clearly see her helmet is two lenses, uh, uh, one on the bottom and one above her. Kind of like how Bandit only has like one eye or something or whatever. But like, how, does, how is this supposed to work? It's like the uh, Pioneer helmet from Halo Four. I do like this uh, single shot arrow for the special more than the arrow rain. I want to say I like it more than Ballista. Even though I barely play Huntress or Risk of Rain 2, I do have to say that Ballista is better. Because that's just a fact. Shoot! Cool, we're not dead yet. I don't have time to die! This jellyfish might kill me though. Very scary. Especially because I'm playing a character that does no fucking damage. And you didn't even look behind you to shoot that, oh my god. Yeah, Huntress has the advantage of being able to just like run away from enemies and attack. It does feel a bit off sometimes because sometimes you feel like you should be moving and attacking, but it just doesn't happen. Or you should be looking at a certain enemy and it just doesn't happen, but whatever. That's what you get for playing Huntress. Like, I probably would be mad about these things, but... It's just that it's Huntress and I don't care about Huntress, so I, I, I don't I don't feel bad. Any Huntress mains? I don't care. I know everybody has favorites. Though. I mean, my favorite is probably unpopular, but it's minor. Get him! Get him! Okay, there we go. I'm not sure how many how many minor gang, uh, how much of the minor gang is out there. Don't take that out of context. Who loves mining? Why can't I hit? Anything? There we go. Didn't even kill one of them. Or it killed one of them. Just under the screw, guys. You missed the jellyfish. You fool. Wait, anyway, the problem that I have with this run is that it's gonna be it's gonna be long because we have to get double attack speed. Maybe I can do that at low health with the uh, energy cell. Will this kill me? Please don't. Okay. Maybe I'll save that sand crab. I can get him to hit me twice and get me to low health. Maybe I could go run the Marians. Okay, that's not enough to give me to the required attack speed for that achievement. I need to reach 200% uh, attack speed, I think. It's... In other words, I'm just going to need some soldier syringes. 
And the other achievement is defeating the uh, legendary wisp or the ancient wisp without taking any damage. That one should be easy enough, depending on how smart I am. Or depending on if I... Yeah, how smart I am. So yeah, the blink still cancels out Red Whip, so it's like completely useless. It definitely improved the blink in Risk of Brain 2, but it still doesn't matter to me. And I, I don't think I even need to say why. Even something about her primary attack sound that I just don't like. It's weird. Like, Bandit, uh, it's, a, it's a bit on the weaker side, but at least it's a powerful attack. There's a uh, Commando, which is literally Call of Duty Modern Warfare Ump or whatever. I never played a Modern Warfare game, but I think those are the same sounds. Um, there's Enforcer, which is just big shotgun. There's Miner, which uh, you have the whooshing sound of pickaxes. There's the crushing noises of the attacks, like the drill charge or the uh, back blast, or no, to the stars, getting all the, getting all the names on. This one is just, just weird. I don't like it. That's weird. Sounds like somebody coughing. <laughs> Dead man's foot. I think the one good thing about Huntress, along with moving and attacking, is just the abilities, like the glaive, being able to do that. I guess this is the one good thing, because you can stay away from danger. Because, you know, you take one hit as Huntress and you immediately cripple. Like, you're almost dead, but you're, like, not dead yet. There's a telescopic sight. Play Risk of Brain 2, this will be the Lost Sears lens. Except you can't pick up crate glasses to increase how many you have. It's just a legendary item. I'm just gonna look for loot, these guys aren't dying. Where's all the chests at? My fingers are in the wrong position. I look at it, Huntress is literally the Pioneer Helmet from Halo, uh, Halo 4. Not only that, but she also has the Pioneer Visor, which I believe is just like a light blue color. So she literally just has the Pioneer Armor. I mean, I, I know these... The Risk of Rain came out one year after Halo 4. I'm not saying that they drew inspiration for this, but... I mean... To be fair, they don't even have bows in Halo, so it doesn't count. Can you imagine a Spartan rolling up into battle, ready to fight the Banished, and he pulls up with an old-time uh, wooden bow with flint arrowheads. down there.
off we go. No more beach. It's a lost all there. I'm not even gonna bother picking that up. Because we got some mines over here. Hey yo. Get fucked. I don't think he's dead. There we go. This took him a while. Still can't afford that though. Some spoilers. It's another lost all. I will continue to not take that. Smart shot burger. Can't say no to extra gold. I wonder how well this would be going if I chose sacrifice. Thing is that I like I like having drones with me, especially if I'm playing somebody like Sniper, because during the Providence fight it would just be really slow if I had nothing but uh, my, my own ability to fight. I took a lot of damage from that guy, somehow didn't die. Yeah, if I was playing Sniper and I had to constantly hit and reload, that would just be slow as hell. So I think playing with drones is the best option. He's a bro. He's literally in the Matrix. Should grab that hit list. That would have been nice, but I got this instead. Gotta love the Heaven Cracker, you know? Just kind of cracks. Ooh, ooh, I shouldn't mess with the spiders. Stop spawning spiders! I don't like them. I don't like spiders. Ugh. Huntress might be able, to, might be good at fighting at awkward angles, but nobody can beat the engineer when it comes to that. He literally has missiles for one of his attacks. The engineer is just the king of awkward angles. Yeah, so for the thumbnail of uh, the extra run, the dark effect run, the risk of brain, risk of brain, uh, returning to risk of brain extra episodes, I, had, I looked up the image for risk of brain engineer, which was a soundtrack thing where Chris posted like individual parts of each song and you could buy it you could uh, you know, mix them together and all that uh, but when I was looking at it I saw these like shirts okay there's like or like a poster or whatever it's like each of the risk brain characters I don't even think these people have uh, I don't know. but they're they're not official pretty sure um, and I saw one, it was just the engineer, because I was looking at the engineer mission, right? But according to the image, it was Risk of Rain Enforcer. And I, I, can't, I can't explain why, it's just, how do you get that wrong? I get they both start with an E, but you have to be like literate to get that wrong. No, don't hurt me! Don't hurt me, please, doggy! Doggy, don't hurt me! Okay, we're good. <laughs> I have no idea what that was. Maybe this is why people find Hunter's fun, just the rush of adrenaline, knowing that you'll die in one hit and you do little to no damage. They get they get to the put the show a smug face like, <laughs> yeah, I play a character that dies in one hit needs to spend like 10 minutes killing one thing. I'm a gamer. I'm good at this game. <coughs> yeah. Choke got my spit over here. <coughs> I'm gonna die. Why is, why is Ifrit deflated? He looks deflated. 
Ah, shit. The, the Ifrit inflatable doll. You got a hole in it. Wait, we're gonna have to loop in this run, unfortunately. We gotta get that big purple dude. Motherfucker got banished and chained. Stupid. Here, party of snowmen. Ah, hold your applause. Goomba stomped. I think I'll just get like one achievement and be done with this run. I have to get the other one. That's just that's just great, but I'm not gonna go for both of them. Maybe I'll go for the other one at the time. Maybe I'll just do a quick command run. So I think I'm gonna get the legendary wisp achievement first. That one just seems to be the easier one. And if I rush the wisp, avoiding enemies. And maybe. Hopefully I get Sky Meadows, because uh, that'll be easier to deal with enemies. We don't have to deal with spitters. Where's the creator? There he is. So nice of you to join us. Give me some mines. I didn't place my mines. Yay! No! The stupid birds! Reminds me of when I, was, I played Deadpool and I just get fucked over by the dogs. Ah! I need a healing potion! Medic bag! Imagine if Dallas was like Joy. He just, uh. He was, he was a gamer, an epic gamer. Taser down! Six points! Ah! I need a healing potion! Sorry for anybody who doesn't get what I'm talking about, but... Most, most likely you came from my uh, video about Dallas falling down the other sh uh, down in an elevator shaft. Turns out that I got into a playlist called Quality Payday 2 or something like that, so I'm, I'm pretty proud of that moment. Except the joke is mostly Mario in the top hat. Uh, shout out to the British man. Stop! Ah, uh, this is just like the first episode all over again. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're good at this game. We're gamers. Misaligned again. Maybe I should just line it up with like A, S, D, and F. Because uh, that'll allow me to just feel the bump on the F and I'll know which one is my special, but I don't feel like doing that. Why? Because I'm lazy. Life savings. If I ever need more money, 
some rusty blades in case I needed more bleed. Which will lead to more money. So I'll be doing more damage. Doing more killing. Our teleporter. I'm just gonna hit it because I want to get out and I want to. I want to. I want to get done with this run faster, and that means I just need to find that wisp man. That's an imp man. He's dead. Yep. Fuck. Cross relic, I'll take that. Oh! And also blue. Might have missed the legendary chest, but I don't care. I feel like legendaries in this game are a bit more common. It's like I'll just open up a chest and it's like, oh wow, happiest man. They do they do feel a bit more insignificant in this game. Like, in Risk of Rain 2, a lot of them are bigger items. Like, they're gonna make a bigger difference. Like, Tesla Coil, for example, it might be a... It might have a cooldown in Risk of Rain 2, but, like, you get one, and you, it's gonna do a lot, and it has a long reach. In this game, it'll just... It'll just be, like, a Frost Relic that you don't need to kill back. Um... What's another thing? The Brilliant Behemoth doesn't feel as... Uh, impactable, but to be fair, it's not like you can shoot the ground in order to see the impact, so. Uh, rapid Mitosis, they literally turn that into a green item in Risk of Rain 2 called the Fuel Cell, which also gives you another stack of your, uh, of your equipment or use item, so it's not that, it's not that. <clears throat> they, even they thought it wasn't that great of a red item. I think, uh, it beating Embryo is fine, because that one, that gives you a chance to double your effect, which would be pretty big. However, I'm pretty sure they just got rid of that altogether because uh, you get fuel cells, you just get a bunch of charges, and essentially double it yourself. Oh, uh, let's see. Heaven Cracker's alright. Uh, the main problem that I find with it is uh, how it will uh, change your engine, your primary. And some other primary attacks, but it's not that big of a deal. Uh, Ancient Scepter, I can see why they got rid of that one, because of uh, uh, multi, and I guess captain too, but captain could get a different change. I'm, I don't know how multi could work, because if it gives you like a buff when you activate the retool, then uh, that'll just lead to spamming it, but people do already do spam it with double rebar, so I don't really care. Or it does it shouldn't really matter. It's also the uh, power mode. Could buff that in some way, but eh, I'm trying to think of other red items in this game. <sighs> yeah, I got nothing. Telescopic sight, they just turn that into a void item eventually. <sighs> Permafrost. Not really sure about that one. I don't know. I'm just trying to think. I'm trying to think in the game at the same time. It's too hard. My brain is only designed to process one thing at a time. As this is also why I like doing this, because it allows me to learn how to uh, speak a bit clearly. Speak clearly. Uh, put, kind of align my thoughts together. Sometimes I just kind of say things and they kind of scramble together. Uh, this kind of teaches me to uh, put my thoughts together and actually come up with a word that people can, or a sentence that people can understand somewhat. I might die. I don't have a. Uh, I don't have a guardian's heart. I don't have fusion. Ah! Oh my God! This series just kind of allows me to put my thoughts together, uh, 
find a way to actually try to speak what I'm thinking. Because a lot of times I just kind of think something and it fits together in my head, but I don't know if it would fit together in somebody else's head. Like, in my head, it's just a bunch of scrambled thoughts, but it's all like, yeah, that's a pattern, that's something I understand. Somebody else, it's kind of like speaking a different language, you know? That's exactly what I'm trying to say. You see, it's teaching me. I could just describe it differently. Instead of saying a bunch of words, I could just say it's like, it's like speaking in a different language, you know? I'm learning as I'm communicating. It's great. Isn't this fantastic? It's like learning how to, uh... I was, I was gonna come. I was gonna try to say something funny, but I, I couldn't. got into the uh, Payday 2 meme playlist. Uh, I was looking at my analytic, uh, my YouTube content creator page or whatever the fuck they call it, and I realized that I got like 10,000 views over my entire career, quote unquote. So that's pretty nice. Of course, a lot of them are just come from that one, uh, that one video of Dallas falling down the elevator shaft. But you know, it's still it's still a pretty big achievement. Like I am proud of that, even though it's just a Mario in a top hat joke visualized, but it is, it is nice to see that. I would like if other people came uh, and watched other things that I was doing, but to be fair, I wasn't really doing anything else. Um, I think, to be fair, this is also really recent, so I can't really blame people for not watching this. Yeah, uh, like I said, this is the Bandit Run. Hopefully, I'll get blessed by the YouTube algorithm, they'll start su uh, suggesting my, or this series, to other people who are interested in Risk of Rain 2, uh, and they'll be all like, hey, I wonder what the first game was like, and they'll come across me. They might come across, they'll definitely come across Brick Road first, Shiny Rayquaza, or however, I think it's spelled like Rayquaza, but maybe M first. Uh, there's one other, I think it was Biznaps, I think that's what its name. I saw that uh, in the recommended when I was watching Brick Road series again, but probably come, come across them first. Maybe even Palm Smash too, because uh, well, they I think the most recent thing they've been doing is a uh, Poe, and they haven't uh, haven't done much. I think uh, well, what am I gonna say? I think Palm Smash would uh would come up too because. I remember finding them when I was uh, trying to learn more about Risk of Rain, and it's like what characters did what, so I'd look up like Risk of Rain, Engineer, Miner, Bandit, stuff like that, and it's like, oh yeah, that's how they work. To be fair, there are a few origin runs that he does, so it doesn't really show off the character, it just shows off uh, the artifact of command. You know, still, still entertaining. Now we're at the damp cavern to see if we get Angel Wisp and if we can beat him without taking damage, because that would be great. Because we gotta find this teleporter. And we gotta find the dude. The big man. Big Mac. I fucking hate McDonald's. Oh, there's one. One of this counts. Yep, that counts cool. That was easy. Now, if we can manage to get 100, 200% attack speed, that would also be fantastic. That's a mech ammo one. Can't touch this. Can't touch this thick, pixelated ass of Huntress. Look at this. Look at this shit. Can't even see it. Literally invisible. You smack it, it's gonna sound like a screenshot. Take a bit of damage. Okay, there we go. Nice. That's that. Because I had the energy cells I was going to get in the war banner, but two energy cells was enough. Two 
two energy cells and some mushroom. If I die here, I won't even care. That means we're just done playing with hunters sooner. I need more money. I'm out of money. Got to have money. Oh, well, my wish has been granted. I mean, this is a short one. Do I, do I, you know what? I'll get Chef done with two. Might as well. So we'll get, we'll get Huntress and Chef done in one episode. This makes it easier for me. Makes it. A longer episode. I'll probably include where the chef segment is for the people who want to see that. Well, as you just saw, Chef using his boomerang knives, he has this ability which buffs one of his, or the next ability used, so this will just be a stronger attack, I believe. Got this oil slick which just gives you a little bit of movement speed. And that just speeds it up. I'm just not really a fan of playing Chef. I just don't find him all that fun. But he is good at taking out worms. If we get a Magmorm, I can show that off. It's gonna be a Vagrant. that way. I mean, I guess it's good with all boxes. Just kind of do this. And then do that. And it's almost dead. Oil of Baker. Got a Guardian's Heart, and that's a pretty good first item. There's a hit list. Move for one, one of these enemies to get marked. There you go. Just kill him and we get a permanent uh, buff to our damage. It's good to get a hit list early on, I'd say. There's a smart shopper. Chef sucks at throwing. How do these cleavers even come back? Like, what string are they attached to? It would make more sense if he just had a really long arm and he stabbed enemies. That is an alternate skill in Risk of Brain 2 for the Chef mod. If anybody was hoping Chef would be actually, no. It's not. Might have uh, made the entire Chef army. Uh, go wild, but no, it's not a risk of brain two yet. And honestly, I want to I want to see a different character first. I want to see new characters first. To be fair, we already had uh, quite a few new characters. But I feel like I just want to see new ideas pop out first before they go back to the old ideas. Like railgunner, uh, it's a lot like sniper, but they just added a few extra things. There's Void Fiend, which is a new idea. Uh, there's Rex, which is a new idea. There's Captain, new idea. Loader had a change. Akron had a change. They're relatively the same commando, relatively the same engineer. The one pretty major change to him, just making him a bit more of a passive character, but apart from that, he's pretty similar. Huntress, pretty similar. Bandit is a bit tweaked, but he's also fairly similar. Um, <clears throat> but just seeing seeing new ideas come out would be cooler. Because it's like, 
people might say, hey, this character's pretty bad, but then once they understand that it's a new idea, you have to wrap your head around how this character is played, it'll end up working out. That's what I like about the new the characters. Uh, they all kind of feel unique in a way. Uh, like, you play one, it's like, yeah, I, I, I understand this character. Or it's like, I don't understand this character, I think I might stick with something that I, I prefer playing. But then, uh, eventually, if you decide to try them out, you'll be like, oh wow, I, I really, I, I, I understand this. You might not like it, but at least you can play them, and you won't fail miserably. I feel like I was rambling a bit, but eventually, I think things came together, so you can understand what I'm trying to say. Hopefully. I don't know. It's up to you. YouTube comments. Tell me if I make sense. Just kidding. Nobody will comment. I'm joking. People might eventually comment. It's not just not right now. Just give it some time. What I say. Some propulsion armor. I forgot I had a hit this time. Now I, now I don't know how to title this video, goddammit. Uh, if I had, like, uh, one character per video, I could just, like, kind of base that after the character. And for the Acrid run, the name I Am Me, I Am You, that, that's a song, but, uh, kind of makes sense, because I encountered Acrid as Acrid during that run. Uh, for the Bandit run, Life in Texas, well, yeah, he's a cowboy. Texas. Yeehaw! Uh, here's a warm example, by the way. Is our fusion? Yeah, no, I just, I'll probably just call this like a two for one special. I don't know. I need a name. I could just be looking like a. Uh, I don't know, because you gotta have the, you gotta have the huntress, uh, kill all the creatures, and then chef comes in and he cooks them into a fantastic meal that is some alien meat. Probably tastes like beef. Beef stew and uh, like burritos or something. I don't know. Doesn't even proc off the walls. Okay, well, there's an explosion in the fire. Doesn't really make any sense, but. I mean, I don't think Chef makes any sense either. Like, but like I. Again, where are the, where are the strings coming from? Why, does, why are his cleavers boomerangs? Really long arm would make sense again. Literally British. How oh, it feels to be in Britain. the British people. Yes, I go get shot up in me maths clash. Yes, I, I'm sorry, I'm an American. for the Huntress part, but it'll work with the Chef part, just uh, the Senator Armstrong quote, I'm making a mother of all omelets, Jack. Can't fret over one egg. Something like that. I'm also, I'm also concerned about the thumbnail, like, we gotta, usually I just include, like, a, the character. Maybe I could try to include both the characters. I don't know, Scoob. This is Shaggy if you grew up in Brooklyn. I don't know, Scoob. Like Scoob. The arm is moving on its own, Scoob. I think we should get out of here. Oh, Reggie! There's pizza! 
Uh, wait a minute. That's a New York style pizza. Hold up. We can stay for a little longer. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to entertain myself while I play two of my least favorite characters. That's what's going on. At least it's not Huntress and Accurate in one episode. That would, that would really drive me insane. I'll keep it. Every time I hit an enemy, I'll drop some money. Remember the classic items mod when playing with the minor mod for Risk of Rain 2. This uh use item is completely busted. Because he gets he gets adrenaline when he gets money. And this will help you get money on hit instead of on kill. Or when you pick up a barrel. So I need to get uh, something to allow me to get these. I need to sear crabs, but we can't do that. Got a bunch of cleavers on the screen. So if I get some attack speed, then I can probably do it with this, but uh, that'll be unlikely. The other option would be the Ancient Scepter, which will allow me to shoot out the big ring twice. So grab that syringe. So fucking badass. Hit list really quickly. Chef's out for blood. <clears throat> Chef has a new job. It's not cooking, it's uh, getting kills. He's now a hitman. You can tell by the mustache. This is the mustache of the hitman. You know, Agent 47 from Hitman, the hit hitman the, from the hit game Hitman? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, he has a mustache just like this. You don't believe me, you're not a real Hitman fan. Hit me up. Fight. Fight me if you're a true Hitman fan and you can prove that he doesn't have this mustache. Oh, there's the Interceptor. Wow. Okay, so now we can... And there's our, uh... What's it called? Laser Turbine. This is one of the significant uh, red irons. Because what this does... Or what it does is it makes it so that uh, after attacking for a lot, it'll just shoot a giant beam across the screen, doing a lot of damage. It's one of the red items where it's like my run is going to change significantly when I pick this up. Wish I would have gotten it on a different character, but I mean, I got it, and it helped me get an achievement, so. Even the timing, too, I was talking about how I needed the achievements on the stage and would. What, what do you know? I got one of the achievements. I mean, I could just, I could also just die, and I wouldn't really care. Go in our clockwise fashion here, or counterclockwise fashion here. Go around town. Bring it around town. I'll grab that. Why not? Might as well. Pick up the item that will double my attacks. Maybe this could have helped me get the achievement. Look at that. Look at all those cleavers. Gonna do a lot of damage. You know Phil Swift? Everybody knows Phil Swift. Funny flex flex man. Dynamite hunter, that's a fun item. Oh, I'll stick with the mirror though. Mirror mirror on the wall. Yo mama. <laughs> I'm, I don't know what's happening with this video. I'm falling apart. I don't know what's, go what's going on. I seriously don't have, a, have an answer. Maybe this maybe this is just like the first signs of the future of what's gonna happen to me. I will I I will ascend the jetpack. Let's go. I 
will ascend to a higher being. Up, stupid idiot. I like how Gulp came to risk brain two and everybody loves him. Well, except for R&D Thursday, apparently. But, like, everybody loves Gulp. If you ever watch the streamer Wooly Game, uh, he made a tier list for the monsters in the game. And Gulp was in a tier of his own, because, uh, in, in Risk of Rain 2, if you find a Gulp, it's pretty much just, like, free money. They give you so much money. I haven't, I haven't played Risk of Rain 2 that much. Like, even... And I only found Sacrifice, so I didn't, don't really notice the amount of money I'm getting, but... <clears throat> yeah, they drop a lot of money. Now let's get this run over with. Only 15 minutes, wow. I'm speedrunning. We get that dream speedrun music going. Don't, don't. Uh, a couple of my friends were playing Minecraft Manhunt. <laughs> we're not gonna, we're not gonna talk about I, I did with Jack. Uh, it was with one of our other friends, and, uh, uh, he told me to get on the call, so I get on the call, and he's like, yeah, we're doing Minecraft Manhunt, and I was watching from Jack's screen, which is, uh, he was the hunter, and occasionally I would put on the distortion effect on my microphone, and then just start singing out the Dream Speed Run music, and it sucked. It was a good time. Uh, surprisingly, Jack didn't start crying. Uh, that's a meteorite. I don't want that. Hello there. Thanks for the infusion. See, I'm trying to think of the ways the, uh, the Ancient Scepter affects all the other characters. I know Handy gets a better hammer, Engineer gets three turrets, Chef is uh, pretty obvious by now. Uh, Loader, I think, is just stronger pylons. For Miner, I think he fires out six projectiles with uh, two of the stars. Uh, for Commando, I think it's just a more powerful machine gun. Maybe it fires ten bullets, too. Huntress, I think it shoots out more bombs, or more bomblets when it impacts. For Enforcer, his uh, grenade uh, strikes fear into enemies, so they start running away from him. I, I remember I got Ancient Scepter on an Enforcer run, and every time I'd hit the grenade button, Providence would just run away. It would just give me some good breathing space. I, I deleted these videos, but I did like monsoon runs for each of the characters. Oh. I, I eventually plan on doing that here, but I won't separate them into different videos. They'll just be part of this. Part of this main series. And like I say in the description of the series, it will just go on. Like even when I'm done getting 100%, this will just continue to be returning to this frame because. So just that. Except I'll, I won't really have a goal. It's just I'll play. I'll play a character. I'll do some runs with them. Maybe if I get a stronger computer, I I live stream it or something. I don't know. I had an idea. I just like start live streaming on Twitch, and I just playing solitaire. Like not even on the computer. I just record myself playing solitaire with my shitty laptop camera. Yeah, just be bad quality, uh, solitaire. You have a pretty nice deck of cards. It's the, uh, Bicycle Marquise deck. I don't know if that's what you call it. M-A-R-Q-W-E. 
Q-U-I-S. It's a purple and gold pattern. It's a pretty nice one. I also got this other one. I went to CBS, I got some cards. There's a Stargazer deck. This one's just this one's just shit. Like uh, the, the, the card patterns look nice, but when it comes to actually looking at them, it's like, you can barely tell what uh, colors the cards are, because it's like a purple and a pink, but you have to really squint, I, you have to really squint to understand what the colors are. It's just, like, you don't, you don't got, you don't get that deck to play cards, you get that deck to have a fancy looking deck. Like, I could have gotten normal cards for the Marquis deck, too, but, like, I just thought that looked nice. And at least you can actually see the colors. Like, you look at the corner, you can see a black 3 or a black 6. It's like, yeah, I get what that is. That's a red. That's a red or a black card. Now I know how to place it or what to do. Uh, with the Stargazer deck, it's like, hold on, is that pink or is that purple? It's, it's just, it's just shit. And I don't, I, I don't know why I bought it. My experience with the cards, but I do have the the other the Marquis deck. That one should be fine. I, think I have a fire deck too. Uh, for and that one's also fine. Yeah, but that one actually has a pattern that looks good and readable cards. Like the Stargazer could have been just like that. It could have had a readable pattern and good looking cards. So let's take a look at this one. Look at him. Look at that big ass hat. Why is your hat that big? I'd be able to use this for the thumbnail, I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff. Maybe I'll try to keep the, uh... I'll try to keep, keep it from being spawning. No, I'll just take the screenshot. Except we have a teleporter arrow. Maybe not. I don't really care. I'll find I'll find a way to make a thumbnail for this. Maybe just, like, Chef and, uh... Another usual chef and huntress and character select screen. I'd have to do some major cropping with that. Some badass cropping skills where I can just like take the pictures of the characters in the character select screen from the wiki. And then just like place them together. So it wouldn't be that big of a deal, but whatever. I just realized I was taking some damage. Anyway, there's another buddy and a key. Jetpack is out of fuel. Now we're, now we're on to the final level. We might just rush to Providence. I think we have enough damage to take care of him. We have a mirror. We got everything. Everything a man could ever want. It's a key card though. Might as well take that. But just in case I feel like getting something. It's not like I will, but like... Just in case. I think I'll take the mirror just because. Double cleavers does sound pretty fun. Stop shooting shit at me. Ah! Ah! Ah, and there's another one! I don't like them putting Kevlar in the water! <laughs> 
They're turning the freaking Clayman volatile! Saying, LeBron James, LeBron James, LeBron James. I'm falling apart. Uh, I should probably just end this run, but I, I want to, I want to do something. It's gonna be worth it. It was worth it. Don't you see how worth it that was? Take me to the bridge. I want to be done. <laughs> After I kill Providence, the curse will be lifted. I'll go back to normal. I will be free. Either take me to Providence or bury me in the contact light. Here's another key card, now I'm forced to go to another room. Uh, <laughs> uh. Take the scarf, why not though? Just got that unlocked. It's another mirror, I just noticed that. Why did I hit the mirror button? Thought I hit my uh, special button, whatever. I'm hitting the special button, the special needs button. Listen, it, it's it's not my fault. My mom told me to ride the short bus. It was more aerodynamic and fuel efficient. My mom never actually told me that in case anybody thinks I'm serious. I don't know, that must be a shock to a lot of you guys, but no, that was actually, I was actually... I'll make it, 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 i Three cents syringes is enough. We need a two energy cells in essentially near death experience. Barbed wire. I am a barbed girl. Hit the fucking button. That's how that's how the song went, right? Feeling a bit more expressive this episode, I just noticed that. Another sprint. Didn't have time to tell, I was look, trying to look at my watch. It's, I can't see jack shit. There's a quid. I'm not gonna take that. I'm gonna. There's a pistol. They want me to take another use item, but I will keep the mirror. I will keep the mirror until I die, and even then it will have been glued to my cold, dead hands. There's another key card. I'm obligated to go into another room. Ugh! Get me out of this run! Let me, just let me go. I have a wife and kids. I just want to see them again. Stop giving me use items! <laughs> I just wanna go. I just wanna go. Just let me leave. I adjust my microphone. Every time, every time I my microphone is just in a bad position. Maybe I should check that before every 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 recording, but I don't. Why? I have no idea. Oh, Providence, help me. 
me out of this run. Just destroyed one of my drones, that doesn't help. Maybe it helps win, but... Look at that damage. Look at that dabblage. Oh, hold on. Okay, what I was noticing wasn't, uh, like, no damage on the second pass. What I was noticing is no, uh, explosion on the second pass. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, if Providence kills me, I can't even be mad. Because that just means the torture is over, the curse is lifted. I'm not playing very safe. Maybe that's why I'm almost dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. Itch. That's the worm face. This is easy. What did I say? I am nearly dead. The shadow province is dead. Try and hit me. 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 Look at that. You can't even hit me. Stupid. Stupid. Oh shit. He hit me. I got the hit. Let's stop. No. Okay. The curse has been lifted. I am no longer stupid. That is a victory. I have no idea why I decided to play two characters in one video. But you know what? We got content out of it. We turned a 30 minute run into a one hour run. And what did we get from it? Two items that won't mean jack shit. Because we're doing a command run next. We're doing the origin run next. Hopefully we can get it done quickly. Hopefully we can get it done as the miner. Because I want to do it as the miner. Should be easy if we stack enough barbed wire. That's it. That's all there is to it. There's some items in the, in the log. Next we're doing the artifact run. We're going to do it as a miner. Have a good one. I'm done. Goodbye.